it's over ladies and gentlemen it has never been this over if you thought that the bbc samurai situation the ubisoft situation was bad you are mistaken my friend you don't even have a single idea as to what just happened oh man this is gonna be a doozy like the video if you think there are two genders dislike the video if you think there are five thousand genders because earlier today gamers went into coma bro i have never seen gamers looking like this okay gamers went into coma circus couldn't even finish eating what they started and a lot of people looking like this and people are like hey what 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 is going on right now yo sony what the hell bro like how is that even possible because previously you know a lot of people were saying that you, you yeah like concord it took a hundred million dollars to make usd paper that's franklin benches okay minimum of 100 million us dollars to make this game some reports were saying that closer to 200 million 250 million even and listen man i did not want to believe that i was like yeah 100 million 200 million okay right i don't know how but like damn i shout out to the homie philip for subscribing but damn okay 100 million to 200 million us dollars but today we're hearing that these suck is spent 400 million us dollars <laughs> damn man this sec is crazy can a brother get two pennies all right let's get down to it shout out to the homie smash jt roll it uh oh there's bad games there are complete absolute atrocious disasters there are career enders and then there are games like Concord. Yeah. So yeah, bad yeah. that it might even cause the next great video game industry crash. And that's not even hyperbole. What's going on, guys? <laughs> Welcome to another episode. Imagine if this is the game that crashes the video game industry. Bro. They These things were like, okay, we gotta make this game for the modern audience. Which does not exist, by the way. And, and imagine this, right? You're somebody that left PlayStation and you're like, okay, let me, let me just go to, you know, like a like a deep sleep right now and the last time you check you know we had spider-man we had uncharted we had god of war you know all these like big like titans all these uh, you know sleeping giants or not sleeping giants i mean but but you get the idea right like these games are well known these games are uh beloved as well people love these games sick as love it sick as love it okay so you went to maybe like a deep sleep maybe like a cryo sleep or something like that you're like i'm gonna wake up like 50 years from now you wake up and you find out that th this what happened <laughs> Oh, because, yeah, it was not Xbox that killed PlayStation, apparently. PlayStation killed itself. PlayStation, apparently, were like, okay, we gotta make the games, not for the gamers, but for the modern audience. Bruh. Like, Episode bruh. Episode of Smash JT. The latest rumor Wait for it. of Concord, the losses it has tallied, have come up, to, I can't even say this without laughing, 400 million dollars, okay? Which is about double what the worst estimates of losses were previously we are approaching half a billion dollars for a game that just fell flat on its face the writing was on the wall we uh for context they couldn't even make one million dollars in profit tried to warn the studio we were preaching screaming from the mountaintops before the game came out no stop it don't do this. Get rid of the pronouns. Make the characters more attractive. Stop charging money for this game. You're doing yeah. everything wrong. And you're basically copying Guardians of the Galaxy for a cost of a game of $40 that there are other games free to play. For context, Spider-Man 2, even God of War Ragnarok, even those games didn't need $400 million. <laughs> Even for those games which are considered like PlayStation's bread and butter, like the big titles, they are. They are massive titles, man. What do you mean? They are massive titles. Sony didn't even spend $400 million on them. <laughs> this thing is crazy. I mean, yo, bro, like, I, I swear to God, man, this is like one of the biggest uh, disaster of all time, bro. Like, how? How is that even possible? How? What made Sony logically spend $400 million on, on this crap, on this garbage of a franchise, on this, or not even franchise, I mean, they were thinking about turning that <laughs> into a franchise, <laughs> you could you imagine like uh, Conquer 2.0, indeed, we're getting Conquer 2.0, that's gonna be that fair games game, right, and there's also like that, uh, 
marathon game, which is uh, people are calling that like Concord 3.0. So yeah, at one point, and, and not real, for real though, if Concord 2 succeeded, these things would have put out like Concord 2, man, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Maybe in a different reality, somewhere, like, people are loving Concord, you know? And Sony is like, yeah, let's drop Concord 2 as well. In what reality? What planet these suckers are on, bro? Even Uncharted, which is concerned, and you're watching Uncharted 2 gameplay. This game, game came out in 2009, 2008 something like that right and it's considered one of the best and rightfully so but god of war ragnarok uh, spider-man 2 uh we heard that that they spent 300 million dollars and that's considered to be one of the most expensive if not the most expensive game i, I believe after gta 5 i could be wrong though gta 5 okay if they spent like 500 million or a billion on that makes sense and we're hearing that gta 6 uh they, they have spent about a billion to two billion dollars on gta 6. Oh, shit. Oh, i hope <laughs> i hope that game is good man that's the only game that i'm looking forward to oh man please don't do this but spider-man 2 300 some million and concord this hot pile tr of trash garbage ass game that belongs in garbage they spent 400 million on it and couldn't even make one million dollars in profit and better experiences elsewhere. This is the definition of the most extreme echo chamber that could ever exist in modern gaming. Smash JT. Hit that subscribe, give me a like, and check out SmashJT.com for the full story talking about the latest rumor of Concord costing upwards of $400 million uh, for Sony to make nah, this game man. and put it out there just for it to fall flat on its face. Modern audience got them by the balls, bro. Like, and be pulled from store shelves in less than two weeks after launch. According to a tweet from Colin Moriarty, and that is the Long Island Viper, who's a former employee of IGN, and some would even say an outcast in the games journalism space. Wait, hold on a second. I wonder why that is. Probably because he's logical with his approach and looks at things rationally? I don't know. Don't want to make too many leaps here. But in his tweet, he posted part of his video talking about how an inside source at Firewalk Studios, the makers of Concord, confirmed with him that Sony lost upwards of $400 million on this game. Concord cost about $400 million to make. Bruh. Oh my God. Bruh. And, um... <laughs> The story goes that Concord, by the time Concord was, so in the first quarter of 2023, Concord had basically entered an alpha state. This was before Sony had even purchased. Uh, hey, yo, hey, yo, what? What year? Quarter of 2023, Concord had basically entered an Okay, it's 2023, November, you said? Alpha state. This was before Sony had even purchased the team, uh, but Sony had been working with um, Probably Monsters, and which was the original owner of Firewalk and Firewalk. Um, probably since late 2020, maybe 2021 at the latest on Concord. The game was in development before that. Up to the point that the game went into alpha state, um, they had already spent about $200 million on it. Concord was internally referred to as the future of PlayStation. So they spent $200 million US dollars at one point or have had spent that much money. And then Sony's like, okay, let me buy you. I believe that's what happened, right? and spend another 200 million? <laughs> bruh, bruh, like... Can a brother get two pennies though? Is that, <laughs> is that too much to ask, Sony? Like, if y'all sick is gonna just blindly throw away that much money... Okay, if it was God of War, uh, you know, Spider-Man, Spooderman, The Last of Us, right, with Abby the Brock Lesnar... Okay, even with Abby the Brock Lesnar in it, right, like... Uh, Okay, yeah, the last of us apparently like th these things were working on factions, right? And then they canceled that project and then they came out. You know, shout out to the homie T Perry for subscribing. Captain T Perry! Oh man, I wanted to say something else. <laughs> I was like, uh, Captain BBC! <laughs> Bruh. Yeah, though, if you're new here, you're probably not getting the joke, and that's perfectly fine. Welcome on in. How you guys doing, man? Hopefully, you guys are doing good. Did you lose 400 million US dollars today? Probably not, right? Exactly! Life is beautiful. Life is amazing, man. God God is the greatest, man. Like, God's the greatest, man. God is the greatest, bruh. Like, yeah, so if you did not lose 400 million dollars, 
like the video and definitely sleep soundly at night though yeah sleep like this though like look at how happy <laughs> look at how happy my man is in urdu real quick man yeah is bhi pradu man hai yaar yaar ye kutte de bachche yaar ye ye pata nahi kya kar rahe yaar in, inko inki inki gaane phad gayi oh sab fana ho gaya oh mar gaye sare oh inka beda tadak gaya oh ye khatam ho gaya sab khatam ho gaya guys i have never seen some like this ever in my life man like damn like damn bro like and smash jt is very passionate about it too so i can i can sense that they were already pinning this up against the likes of star wars <laughs> okay you need a fan base you need to have something naturally organically grow to have people love it and fall in love with it and enjoy it and appreciate it you can't just throw a whole bunch of money or in this case even more than a whole bunch of money at something and just expect yeah. people to flock to it uh, that's not how any of this works the game yeah. was in a laughable shape <clears throat> um when it was shown and read basically like when the alpha was ready to go and they were kind of being like you know we're ready to kind of get moving towards getting this thing out in the next year or two it was in such horrible shape that sony felt like they needed to spend that much money again so you know 200 plus 200 to get the the game to to the mvp status not to the status of it being like a great game to get it to just viability the beyond catastrophic development happened yo i i really wonder right like the final product it looks like pre, the final game that we ended up getting it looks like pre 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 alpha Bruh. i wonder when the game was actually in pre 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 alpha i wonder like how the game was uh, he's he just described it right i wonder how it actually looked like when it was in pre alpha under Firewalk Studios, the studio Sony acquired in 2023 to develop the project. And I talked about this in greater Man. detail in previous videos about how Firewalk Studios was completely a mess behind the scenes where I Crazy. had an insider reach out to me telling me about what the day-to-day -day life was there, how horrible and toxic the environment was, how it was an echo chamber that anyone who dared step outside of that echo chamber and try to bring rationality into the conversation was was immediately excluded from the echo chamber reinforcing an environment of toxic positivity uh, toxic gamers toxic gamers they always want to say and label gamers as toxic and problematic right but yeah i mean totally right when rationality goes out of the window then you get products like concord <laughs> of course man concord exists where rationality does not simple as that simple simple if rationality did exist, we wouldn't be getting Concord as a product, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, we would have been getting, like, some good games, right? When rationality did exist, we ended up getting Uncharted. Like, this game is... And listen, man, I love this game, bro. I love this game, man. Like, damn, man, we had so many good games back in the days. It is not even funny. Socom, Killzone, even though I'm not a big fan of them, but... And, and yeah, most people were not, like, crazy obsessed with those franchises or anything like that, but at least Sony tried. And people loved it regardless, right? But yeah, those were decent games. Those were decent IPs. Uh, I believe that they wanted something different from Call of Duty at the time, and they were not even looking to compete with Call of Duty. They were simply like, hey, we need to have some good games, you know, first party, some good first party titles for PlayStation. We need to up the incentive for people to purchase PlayStation. And ultimately, they did succeed. They did succeed. They did succeed in terms of uh, getting the sales up. And right now, PlayStation is bigger than Xbox, right? Uh, right now, both of them are sucking ass, though. Like, Xbox, not doing too good. PlayStation, <laughs> clearly not doing good. I mean, they are doing good in terms of, like, uh, other games and, you know, consoles uh, sales being more than double than in, in comparison to Xbox. So, yeah, they, they are killing it. But my point here is that currently, in terms of games, none of these suckers got, like, good games, bro. None of these suckers got... I guess God of War, Ragnarok, Spider-Man 2 are decent. Uh, they're, they're good. They're good. Don't get me wrong. But, like, uh, I'm talking about right now, right now. There's nothing coming out right now. And what really killed PlayStation right now, or what is killing PlayStation and Xbox, is like the chase after modern audience. Modern audience, which does not exist. Clearly does not exist. And I, I think it's gonna get better before it gets worse. Is it gonna get worse more, even more than now? I think yes. Because we gotta get fair games. 
maybe they're gonna halt production on that and if they were to they would be smart yeah cut your losses right now sony cut your losses right now sony yeah fair games and there's that that another game bungie's working on as well that's also like super woke uh it looks like trash it is trash it looks like trash because it is trash essentially right so they are working on that too uh i, I talked about it earlier like now that ga that that game name's not coming up it's like mech not mecha runner mecha no no not that there was another another uh, okay it's not coming up not coming up just where here, if you but. don't agree with these people that think they know what's right you are then excommunicated from the <laughs> cult a major thing about the game it marathon marathon yeah marathon is the one right so yeah so, uh, sony is working on both of these games and uh, both of them are looking like trash because they are trash right yeah man we deserve better games like that as a brown man i demand playstation and xbox uh, xbox online to be free no longer no longer our future generation my generation our future generation deserve to play online for free I mean, it's not even free. We're paying for our internet, okay? And we're buying the console. We're buying the games. So why do we have to buy, like, more, uh, more crap, right? Exactly. PlayStation 5 Pro. I guess this is why Sony is charging $700 million, guys. Uh, or not $700 million, what am I saying? <laughs> $700 US dollars. I guess this is why. They need to make the money back somehow, though. They need to make the chatter real quick, though. Is that... There was, and I think we can kind of get this vibe from just the nature of the people making it and kind of the way the game reads and all that, a toxic positivity vibe. Mm. You weren't allowed to say anything. Yeah. Apparently internally about this game. About how like something's wrong with it, character designs are not right, um, and so on and so forth. They really truly believe this was Herman Hulse's baby apparently. And he internally was, it was himself a massive champion of the game. Well, the official acquisition details no way no way say say it in ain't so say you swear to god man say a psych right now yo this is me right now my non-existing dog be looking like this man bruh this was herman holst baby and herman holst is now like the, the the main guy of playstation after jim ryan departed after Jim Ryan peaced out, after Jim Ryan was like, yo, deuces, pieces, gang gang, homie. It, it's over. It is over. He's the main guy right now, right? At PlayStation? Still remain undisclosed and secret. This was Herman Hulse baby. Champion of the game. While the official acquisition details still remain undisclosed and secret, rumors of the buyout have only fueled more speculation about how such a monumental failure could happen within a first party PlayStation studio. And to make matters even worse, Firewalk's leadership team is beginning to crumble as well. Game director Ryan Ellis stepped down from his position, leaving a lot of people questioning what the future of this studio is, and something that I postulated in a previous video where I'm like, oh there are a lot of employees at Firewalk Studios, and I went through what the hell that Spinner Rooney was for, man. All the links in, I scrolled through the whole page, I talked about how this is a serious, dire situation, Yeah. and what the hell are these people even doing every day? Are they driving into work mm. and sitting at their cubicle and just waiting for some big wig at Sony to tell them that they don't have a job anymore? Because there's literally no reason for them to even work anymore. Why did this happen? Hey, hey, whoa! This game- Tra Tranquilo, papi. Yo, papi, chill, man. Yo, uh, yeah, like I said, man, this guy, Smash JT, shout out to the homie Smash JT if you're watching, shout out to you, man. But this guy looks- <laughs> Yo, that's a perfect pause right there. This guy looks like one of my kung fu, like I said. Like, my kung fu instructor, right? Bruh. But my kung fu instructor never smiles, and he smiles a lot. I smile a lot too. I, I get it. Like it's for a YouTube video. I get it. I get it, Holmes. I get it. Smiling is good. Smiling is good. And after all, guys, like I'm pretty sure you're smiling watching this video too, right? Don't don't lie to me. Don't lie. <laughs> or maybe you're like, no man, no skizzle. I'm not smiling, man. Come on, man. You did not lose four hundred million dollars, guys. You did not lose that four hundred million US dollars. Smile, man. It's good for you. Drink water, you know, maybe like go on a date, maybe go out with your friends, throw a party down, you know, have some amazing dinner, you know, like go crazy right now, go like, hey, 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 hey. you know what I'm saying, like go crazy, man, yeah, you did not, you did not lose 400 million US dollars, 
Bro, you're blessed. You're doing amazing. Look at you, man. What the hell are we talking about, man? Yeah, stay tall, man. Stud muffins rise up, man. Hell yeah, bro. Gamers rise up, bro. Why did this happen? Okay, let's talk about it. This game was heavily championed behind the scenes. Now we know this because Sony ended up, what's funny is that the game is presented in this, in Q1 2023 as this, you know, we're kind of getting towards the end. The game is nowhere near being done. It's in a horrible position. Mm -hmm. And then Sony buys the team. The grand ambitions mm. of Concord could not have been more clear. It was promoted at- So it was not in a good position and they put in like 200 million, some or somewhere around that money. And then PlayStation is like, yeah, let me buy that real quick and spend 200 million again. PlayStation showcases in 2023 and 2024 with the hope that they could be the ones to somehow redefine hero shooters and bring Sony into competition with the likes of Overwatch and Destiny. And again, putting the cart before the horse, they just felt like because they're Sony owning the studio now and putting a bunch of money into it, that gamers would just somehow eat it up and flock yeah. to it. And I Yeah, because gamers are toxic, gamers are stupid. I don't understand how out of gamers are low IQ, right? Uh, local touch an executive could possibly be with actual gamers, but that's never been how any of this has ever worked. The idea behind this was, and the term apparently verbatim had been used that Concord is the future of PlayStation. That they had such major ambition for this game that it was referred to internally as a Star Wars like project for Sony. Bruh. Internally, the game was being Bumblecloud, brother. Bumblecloud, Bumble man. Yo, what what are you talking about? Yeah, this is why I was saying like these things were looking to make like Concord 2. Yeah, oh bro, like if you think that this was not gonna be like a massive franchise, had it been like they made the, the money or a little I, I swear to god, man, if these things only made like 10 million dollars. In compared, yeah, of course they spent 400 million and they made. Uh, I, I I know I'm exaggerating, but like understand the metaphor here. If these things made 10 million in comparison to that one million dollars right now, not even, not even. If these things made that, hey, oh, chill, papi, yo, papi, tranquilo, man, leave the chicken alone, leave pule alone. That's pule right there. That's protein, bro. Leave the protein alone. Leave that chicken alone, bro. But yeah, if these things made 10 million dollars, guess what? They would have probably made. Concord 10, yeah. Being positioned as a flagship title for the PlayStation brand, aiming to bring legions of players and establish itself as one of Sony's pillars of games in their future lineups. But reality set in, and when you step outside of an echo chamber, reality can hit you pretty hard. Hmm. As many people had been stipulating leading up to this game's launch, including myself and Grums and tons of other people. I don't want to try to sound like I'm the only one. There were a lot of gamers that were like, no, this is, this is not gonna work for obvious yeah, reasons. Don't do it. And that was even before the free trial period, before it even launched. We were like, who's even gonna play this? Who cares about this? Why should we care? What is the buying proposition for the gamer to care about this title? What are you bringing new to the Nothing. genre that is just so, wow, my mind is blown, <laughs> I have to play that game. And the answer was- Nothing. Pronouns <laughs> and gender ambiguity <laughs> and robots. Oh, shit. Not anything that anyone who actually games even cares about. That it can be repeatedly revisited over and over and over again, not only in cross media, but in what we were seeing, we've already kind of seen a little bits of it. So the weekly story vignettes that they were going to release. And then of course the inclusion in Amazon's um, secret levels anthology, that's like just scratching the surface of it. By some estimates, only 25,000 copies of the game were ever sold. An abysmally low figure, given the budget mm -hmm. and the weight of PlayStation's brand behind it. And I had my doubts it was anywhere even close to the 25,000, yeah. but we'll go with that. The yeah, let, let's just go with it. Let's just say they made a million dollars. Yeah, nice guys, nice. You guys killed it. You guys killed it. Amazing. Guys, check out this video on the screen. Earlier today, we had some insane news about GTA 6 and we heard about GTA 6 trailer too. As well, check out this video on the screen. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left, man. We got another drama waiting for you fellas out here, man.